We're monitoring a vehicle's speed sensor. Now this is a Hall effect sensor, and what you're going to find is that the voltage values in the duty cycle won't vary a great deal, but what will vary is the frequency of the signal. Now we're going to use the, the combined power of the different functions of the meter to really take an in-depth look and analyze this signal. So follow along. Now first of all, when we take a look and we increase the vehicle's speed, you can see that the voltage values aren't increasing a great deal. Now, if we go into percent duty cycle, you can see that as I change my vehicle speed, it doesn't change the duty cycle very much either. Now, if we go into frequency, there we go. Now we're looking at the actual dynamic change of that signal as it changes over time. Many fluke instruments allow you to measure RPM directly from the engine. Now we use an external trigger pickup to do this. It's sensitive to the direction that you place it on, and it has a spark plug printed on one side. Now on conventional ignition systems, that should face a spark plug. Now on DIS, you may have to turn it around to get that reading. We'll clamp it on the wire. We'll take the other end and plug it into the instrument. And note that it has a plus and minus position also. Plugs into the volts, ohms, diode function, and also the common jack. We'll turn the meter to volt DC. And we'll select RPM. Then we'll start the car. There you go. There's the reading. Now, in some vehicles, because of steel core wires that are unshielded, might be extra noisy. You may have to change the trigger level. To do that, simply go up to the range and push it one time. You'll note that our 4 changed to a 40. This means that our trigger level changed from 1.7 volts up to 4 volts. In other situations, you may have to put it in the AC mode and then go into RPM. Now those are on extreme noisy conditions such as outboard motors or forklifts, things like that. Now that we've looked at a lot of the functions on the meter, how to connect to circuits, and how the instrument responds to these signals, let's go out to the shop and put it all to test. We're going to test the battery and the charging system now. And the beauty of this test